What's up everyone? I wanted to make this video because I found, I think, a solution to a problem that I've been having. I shoot a lot of my vlogs on my iPhone and because of that, um, when I get the footage, see how it says HDR up here? It records in HDR video and a lot of editors don't support that so I edit in Blender and um, well, first of all, I always transcode the media through Handbrake, um, and then put it in Blender, but we'll just, we'll just, sh I'll just show you what the problem is. Um, if you put a HDR video in Blender, it looks really washed out like that. Um, so back. look at those yeah, colors. Yeah, that sounds good. Shit. Let me get yeah, it's a pretty good. Um, a great so, what well. you need to do if you record in HDR is you need to convert the footage with a process called tone mapping, which will basically map the HDR tones to SDR video. Um, so, I have done that with Handbrake, and I want to show you the results of that. So, here's what it looks like coming out of Handbrake. Um, it looks okay. Um, it definitely looks better than the the like muted colors straight in the editor. I'll actually just put the handbrake version in here as well. So we can see there's the muted one um, when you try to put HDR video into a Blender sequence. Here's the handbrake tone mapped. I feel like everything looks kind of pink. Um, just for reference, here's the original beer and back. HDR. Yeah, that sounds good. Shit. Let me get a bus. There's the original versus the um, versus the handbrake tone map. You can see everything just kind of looks a little red. Didn't really preserve the dark tones as well. So, what I would do sometimes to solve this is put this clip in iMovie or Final Cut Pro and just export it. But let's say I have a whole folder full of videos that I took on the iPhone as HDR. Um, Handbrake has the capability to batch process folders. Um, but it looks like this. So that's kind of the trade-off I'm getting. However, I think I found the solution. So um, Mac natively has a tool built in called AV Convert. Let me clear that. So AV Convert, I'm going to type AV Convert dash dash help. And the way AV Convert works is you give it a source, you give it an output, and you give it a preset. So what I found is that using AV Convert to convert these files, it does a much better job tone mapping than Handbrake does. And since it's a command line tool, you could batch process a whole folder. So here's the supported presets. Um, my video is 1080p. All you do to do this command is type, I'm just going to clean up my screen here, av convert dash dash preset and the preset I'm going to use here is this one, preset apple m4v 1080p hd and then you give it the source, source and I'm just going to drag and drop this MOV file. This was the this is the HDR video. See, it's got the oh, HDR logo back. up there. And then we give it an output. So dash dash output. I'm going to drag that same file, but since this preset is an M4V, I'm going to change the file extension to M4V. So I'll click Enter and it's creating some temporary files. 
so it's not instant so I'm gonna give it some time alright so that took a couple minutes but it just finished and here's the result you'll notice if I play it we don't have the yeah, HDR thing up here anymore which is great I'll just open these side by side with QuickTime remember our MOV file is the HDR that's this one and this is the um, tone mapped SDR I mean you can hardly even tell a difference looks like the dark shades are a little bit better but I mean it's way closer and it is way better than and it is way better than this one tone mapped by handbrake um, it just looks a lot more red so let's close it out and let's put it into blender and see if it looks good All right, so this was the um, HDR video put in a blender, which looks terrible. I mean, practically unusable. Here's our Apple AV Convert tone mapped. And here is the Handbrake tone mapped. So Handbrake tone mapped, kind of red. Apple tone mapped looks good. HDR looks terrible. So. That was the command, very simple. You just do AV convert dash dash preset, use the Apple M4, M4V, and then put your source, put your output, change the file extension to M4V, and you could run this on a whole directory of files and get all your HDR video converted to SDR. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.